Let's convert the number 4.5 to a fraction, both an improper fraction and then a mixed fraction. So to do that, let's think of this as 4.5 over 1. That gives us a start of a fraction. We're dividing by 1, so we haven't changed the value, though. Next, let's get this to be a whole number. That'll be a little bit easier if we do that. So to get this to be a whole number, we have one decimal place here. So one decimal place, we're going to multiply by 10. So 10 times 4.5, that ends up giving us 45. So now we have a whole number. But we can't just multiply the numerator by 10. We also have to multiply the denominator by 10. That's because 10 over 10 is equal to 1. So we're multiplying by 1, and we're not changing the value, just the way it's represented. So 10 times 1 is 10, and now we have a fraction. This is an improper fraction, and we can simplify it some, but 4.5 that's equal to 45 over 10. Let's give ourselves some room. So I know that 5 goes into 45 and 10 evenly. So 45 divided by 5, that equals 9. 10 divided by 5, that equals 2. So now we have this improper fraction. If we want to change it to a mixed fraction, 2 goes into 9 4 times with 1 left over, so 4 and 1 half. So when you convert 4.5 to a fraction, you see they're 9 seconds or 4 and 1 halves. And all of these here are equal to 4.5. They're just in a different form. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.